Why do men feel worthless? Why do we go through our lives and everything is just very unclear? We don't feel like people value us. There's a lot of mental health issues that arise from you feeling worthless. It's okay to feel worthless the same way that it's okay to feel happy. Because worthlessness and the emotion of what that provides you is on the contrary of the emotional spectrum of let's say joy or happiness. And it's okay to feel every single emotion. That's the point of life. We're not put here to just be happy or just be sad, if that's your reality. We're here to experience each and every emotion for what they have to offer us so that you become a different being throughout your life and you learn that each emotion has an extremely valuable purpose for you and for everybody. I'll give you an example in my own life. There was a period, it was around 2020, just when the virus hit. I was extremely happy that I got a few weeks off of school and at the time I was in college, so I was playing collegiate baseball. I didn't feel connected with my team and the people around me, my coaches, etc. So for me, it was like a huge weight lifted off my shoulder. I had a girlfriend at the time who I would consider my first love, quote unquote. Looking back at it, Maybe it wasn't, but that's a whole different discussion. The comfort that I felt from having all of my worries and troubles kind of stripped away from me within a few hours of figuring out that there was going to be two or three weeks off from having to deal with any of the stuff that I was stressing over. Fast forward a few months and we never end up going back. Everything's canceled for the rest of the year. Ends up being around eight to 10 months where you basically get to do whatever the fuck you want to do. Like you don't have any responsibility. You have true liberation and freedom from your everyday task that you were doing. So if you were going to school, you didn't have to fucking go to school anymore. If you were going to work, you didn't have to fucking go to work. Or if you did work, it was remote from your comfort of your couch. Where I'm going with this, bear with me here, it's gonna make sense, is the fact that during that period, I got so comfortable with being comfortable as that logically clicks in your mind, that when life reverted back to what it used to be, I realized that it was like a muscle, and what I mean by it was like a muscle, the like, training yourself to embrace the challenges of life is like flexing a muscle in the gym how you would do a bicep curl. It's the same thing with your mind, right? And that is what I realized because I didn't flex that muscle for so many months that when I had to go back to living my other life, the other half of me, quote unquote, you you could put it, I felt an extreme wave of depression and anxiety and it would like, be very daunting and would make me feel 
as if there was no hope. Like there was no way I was going to be able to get out of my situation. And that feeling of no hope genuinely ruined my life for around two years because it's scary. The one thing humans fear the most is death. And death in this lifetime comes in so many different forms. It can come in the form of the most common comprehension of death that humans understand, which is the death of you as a physical individual and entity, or the death of your ego and killing a part of you. You, hear, you always hear people say that. Go, you got to kill a certain part of you in order to become a better version of yourself. Because you have to detach and let go of certain emotions, behaviors, and tendencies that you used to live by that no longer serve you in order to level up the character that you are. Because you are the main character in your own life. The same way that you are playing a video game and you get to level up that char character is the same way that you get to level up the character that, that God gave you in this life. It's no different. A lot of people really don't understand that and that I think is when life becomes fun. But I digress. Going back to my point, When you understand the value in every emotion, like I had to learn for myself after going through around two years of feeling the emotion of depression, feeling the emotion of depression consistently and feeling a sense of hopelessness because I neglected the hard stuff. I embraced the comfort to a point that was so it was just so overwhelmingly joyful to feel that level of comfort consistently and I thought that if I never have to go back to living my other life this would be amazing and I basically lied to myself because I knew that there would be a day that I would have to go back, of course. But it, as humans, it's so easy to turn a blind eye to the things that we don't want to look at. The things we do want to look at, it's also, on the contrary, really hard to turn a blind eye to those type of things. It's like overcoming an addiction to... It could be food, it could be drugs, it could be people. It could be a lot of different things. But you could understand, or video games, it, it can be so many different things that are hard to overcome because you've gotten so accustomed to that being a part of who you are and that being a part of your lifestyle that in order to detach from that and let go of it, it's going to hurt. But once you experience it one time and you let the lessons from life permeate into your soul, you will begin to embrace them more and more and see them for what they really are because every single emotion is nor bad or good. You yourself just associate that emotion with past experiences that either made you feel good or feel bad, but you deemed them good or bad. Why is it that one person can look at going to the gym, which is a painful thing if you are pushing yourself to failure, as a super productive and positive behavior on their life, even if in those moments, enduring the pain you may not see it that way because it's painful. But as soon as it's over, 
why does that person deem it as positive of the of an in terms of the experience but other people look at look at that same situation with a completely different perspective because they simply don't want to enjoy endure the pain because they don't see the value in it everything good in life comes at a cost so if everything good at life comes at a cost that means that you have to be willing to sacrifice things but that also means sacrificing beliefs that you have so if you believe that certain emotions are good or bad it might be time for you to analyze that belief system that you do withhold and ask yourself do these moralities and beliefs that i have upon myself that i cast into the world do they still serve me and are they even true if they do serve me is this good for myself in the long run is it going to pay off is this who i want to become These are the questions that I had to ask myself in order to become a better version that I knew I always wanted to become but was too afraid to walk down the path and sacrifice my old self. Every single emotion you feel can be a positive emotion. if you choose to look at it that way because it is your choice every single thought you have can be spun in a positive way because you have a choice like i just gave the example with two different people looking at one situation completely different ways but we both have a choice one chooses to look at it from the positive light the other chooses to look at it from the negative light if you want to become the best version of yourself you have to be willing to let go of past versions of yourself that used to serve you but no longer serve you You are capable. We all are capable. Stop fucking around and take this shit seriously and not in a fucking serious way that you always look down upon like you're sitting in school taking a test and they're like be be serious. Don't cheat. Don't look at your friend. Don't do this. Don't do that. Serious, serious, serious. It's all bullshit. True focus is being serious focus on what actually matters and let go of the things that didn't no longer serve you anymore because you deserve more because you are capable and you are limitless beyond your comprehension at this stage but there will become a point in your life where you understand exactly what you are capable of and when you realize that you'll be really happy that you decided to start in the first place subscribe to the channel i'm going to be posting these every single day not missing a single video i promise you that become the best versions of yourself and never ever give up on reaching your potential